Hey guys, this is going to be part two of my 2018 CD collection, so let's continue. The Marshall Mathers LP2, M&M. I don't really like these cardboard deluxe editions. Like, the cardboard seems to, like, wear out after time. Like, you barely use them and they just just start to, like, deteriorate. It's, it's crazy. Uh, Corn, The Serenity of Suffering. Their most recent album came out in 2016, I think. Paradigm Shift. The Path of Totality. I wasn't too crazy on this album. It was a lot of dubstep, and I'm not too crazy on dubstep, honestly. It's not a bad album, but it's my least favorite. Corn 3, Remember Who You Are. Untitled. It didn't have a name, but amongst fans, it's called Corn 2. So, very good album. I do like it a lot. See you on the other side. Now, this album, along with the Untitled one, is relatively expensive to find, especially if it's brand new. This one goes probably for like 40 bucks or something, brand new. So, yeah. Very expensive. I didn't buy it brand new. I'm just saying. It just, it's really expensive. Take a look in the mirror. Untouchables. Probably my favorite album of theirs. I don't know what it is about this album, but I absolutely love it. It's a very good one. Issues. One of their more well-known albums, very, very big, and amongst like the fans of Korn. It's either this one or Follow the Leader that a lot of people really, really like. Follow the Leader. Both issues and Follow the Leader are explicit. They just don't have the parental advisory sticker on there. But they are explicit. Life is Peachy. self-titled debut album disturbed believe I think this is their second I'm not too sure I don't I have their I have this one and the sickness which was their debut album so I don't know if this one was like their, their second one or the third I'm not really too sure the sickness I had an edited version and then it was terrible. It, it's it's funny because like the song is playing, and, like if they like if they swear, it's just like completely silent for like a couple seconds. Marilyn Manson, The Pale Emperor. This is the only album of his that I have. I do want to get a few more of his albums, like Hollywood, um, Mechanical Animals. Uh, what was that other one? Antichrist Superstar. Those are like the big ones. Like more like Mechanical Animals and Antichrist Superstar. Like the ones that a lot of people really really like who are you know into Marilyn Manson <clears throat> flaw through the eyes actually funny thing um, one of the songs on that album I actually heard on the on a PlayStation 2 demo disc a while back so uh, that ended up um, having me buy the uh, the album that that track was on rage against the machine self-titled debut album um, I have the 20th anniversary vinyl version of this album, so I lucked out and I found it at the exchange for like 24 bucks, so I, I had to pick it up. Mudvayne, Lost and Found, very, um, very good album. LD50. This was their debut album. I actually had this one before a long time ago, and I really liked it, but for some reason I ended up getting rid of it. I don't know why. <sighs> Crazy Town, Butterfly. I listened to The Gift of Game, which um, this track was taken from, and that album was, uh, really wasn't all that great. This is probably the only song that I really liked. So I figured I would get the single. And I found it at like a flea market for like a buck. 
<clears throat> Dope Nixon, Sour Diesel. Very good album. He has released a few other albums. I think one of them was um, Darth, Darth Nixon, something like that. That one is actually pretty good. I heard a little bit of it. Apathy, Handshakes with Snakes. I have his newest album, which was called The Widow's Son, that came out early this year. Um, again, it's not a part of the his his um his uh, little collection that I have of his. But yeah, this album is really really good. As is The Widow's Son. That one's really really good. Connecticut Casual. Weekend at the Cape. The Alien Tongue. Now this is actually a compilation. Before, when Apathy was a lot younger, he went as Apathy the Alien Tongue to simply shortening it to just Apathy. So this is pretty much a, a compilation of things that he did in his like in his early twenties. So it's a lot of a lot of stuff and you get to hear like a young Apathy, you know, rap a lot about like conspiracy theories, mythology, and that whole thing. It's a very, very good compilation album, I'm not gonna lie. I did like it a lot. <clears throat> Honky Kong. This is a two disc set. It comes with a Primate Mindset EP along with the instrumentals for this album. Very, very good album, I will say. Considered his best, Wanna Snuggle. And a lot of people, when the name of the album was released, a lot of people thought like, what the hell? Why is it called Wanna Snuggle? That's weird. Weird name for an album, but then when they seen the cover, they were like, oh, okay. I Better understanding of it now. This album is really, really good, though. Where's Your Album? I think this came out before he released his debut album, which was called Eastern Philosophy. I think. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. But this was, like, to hold fans off until, like, that album was released. So... Very good one, too. Vinny Paz, Cornerstone of the Corner Store. A very, 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 very good album. From start to finish, I don't think there was a track in here that I didn't like. God of the Serengeti. Season of the Assassin, his debut album. Army of the Pharaohs, Heavy Lies the Crown. Another very good album. In Death Reborn. I actually have this on vinyl as well. What's cool about the vinyl is the actual record itself. It's like a... Like a it's a green... It's a green color. I, I'm not exactly sure what the name is called. But it has like a, a splatter effect. Which actually looks really, really cool. I found that at, at the exchange for, I think like $24, I don't remember. The, uh, the Unholy Terror. Ritual of Battle, another very good album of theirs. The Torture Papers, this is actually my personal favorite one. A lot of fans of Army of the Pharaohs say that this one is okay, but it's not their favorite. You know, some people will say it's like probably their weakest one, but I personally do like it a lot. Mortal Technique, The Third World. Revolutionary Volume 2. There was talk about him releasing a Revolutionary Volume 3, but he hasn't released anything since The Martyr, and that one came out in, like, 2012, and that was a free-to-download album. So, hopefully he, he's making some more music. Uh, Revolutionary Volume 1. Outer Space, God's Fury. This album was very expensive. Not, like... Crappy pants expensive, but uh, a, a pretty penny expensive. It was like 40 bucks, and it wasn't even new. So, And it's, it's one of those albums that's out of print, so it's 
very hard to come by. Fortunately, I did find somebody who did take good care of it and, you know, you know, bought it from them for like 40 bucks. Worth the money, honestly. I absolutely love this album. It's really, really good. Uh, Blood Brothers. They released another album after God's Fury called My Brother's Keeper, and that one is hard to find. Blood and Ashes. This is their debut album. Um, for the longest time, there was one that they released called Jedi Mind Tricks Presents Outer Space, and I always thought that that was their debut album, but it's actually a, collect a, bleh, a collection of stuff that they did before. You know, so like new fans can like hear the stuff that they did before, you know, Blood and Ashes came out and stuff like that. It was actually really good. This album is good as well. Jedi Mind Tricks Presents Outer Space. Very good album. This was the this is the one that I was talking about that was a collection, but it's very very good. Jedi Mind Tricks, The Thief and the Fallen. The Bridge in the Abyss is is here, but it's all the way at the bottom. I completely forgot to put it along with uh, with the rest of their stuff. So, very good album. Violence begets violence. This was the album that they didn't have Stupid Enemy of Mankind, who was their producer ever since their debut album was released. Um, he kind of took a short departure from them for a while, and he ended up coming back for The Thief and the Fallen. A History of Violence. This is probably the album that I think my cousin loves a lot, because I remember when it came out, he played it so much. And it's a good album, I'm not going to say it's terrible, but it, it he played it a lot. Um, Servants in Heaven, Kings in Hell. This one, a lot of people debate on this one being their best compared to uh, Violent by Design, which was their second. And it's very debatable, but this album is really, really good. Now, my personal favorite, Legacy of Blood. I love this album to death. I've listened to it front to back. God, I don't even know how many times. I love the album so much that I even have it on vinyl. Mind you, I don't have a vinyl record, or like a vinyl record. I don't have a record player, but I love the album so much that I wanted to have the vinyl version of this album. And it's the original pressing. They did re-release it with orange records, like the, the color of the, of the record themselves were orange. So it was like translucent, transparent orange. There we go. So yeah, this album is really, really good. I, I personally love it. It's like my favorite one of theirs. Visions of Gandhi. Another really good one. Animal Rap, featuring Cool G Rap. This is actually a single. It's not an actual album of theirs. Um, this single was was released for um, Visions of Gandhi when that album was coming out. They have it on vinyl and they also had it on CD, so I figured I would get the CD version. Violent by Design. Considered their magnum opus, pretty much. It's a very, very, very good album. <clears throat> the Psychosocial. It has a very, very long name, but I don't want to say it because it's ridiculously long. Um, just look it up. Trust me, it's a very long song. Or it's a very long name, I'm sorry. King Size, The Labor Union. Seismology, uh, King Size's debut album. Very, very good one, too. One of my personal favorite albums in my collection. I love this album to death. Dutch Massive, Junk Planet. It's very, it's a very calm, laid-back hip-hop album. It's not in your face with big, loud beats or anything like that. It's very calm, laid-back, you know. It's very, very, very good. And when I found out that this was released on CD, because I went to an, I went to a place and they said that it was only released on vinyl, but when I found out that it was released on CD, I immediately picked it up. Now these next few albums are from an artist who is independent. He was extremely nice enough to send me a good chunk of his projects that he did for free. So some of them I did buy, but then there were some that he he actually sent me himself for free. So that was really cool of him. Hidden in Flames. 
He's actually very good too. I, I do like him a lot. Hidden Road. He actually released a new album called The King of Games. And I actually listened to it. It's it's really good. Uh, Way of the Samurai. Oh, I'm sorry. Way of the Warrior. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got that confused with that one game that came out. Uh, Way of the Samurai on the PlayStation 2. Um, Hidden, Mr. B, and Immaculate, The Priory of Scion. It's, it's three dudes together. This one is very good, too. In the Dark, Hidden versus a dude named Drew. No Love, one of the albums that I did buy. Um, with, when I did order this album, he was nice enough to send me, I think, three more albums of his. So it was really, really awesome that he did that. Battle of Wits. Outlaws to the End. Listening to that is like something you would listen to when you're playing like Red Dead Redemption or something or Gun. Uh, uh, be a king, um, be a king, be a god. This is hidden in N95. Um, the producer is N95. He makes a lot of old school boom bap kind of beats for, you know, a lot of stuff reminiscent to like 90s hip hop. Heavy Metal Kings, Black God, White Devil, their second album. Very, very, very good. Heavy Metal Kings, self titled debut album. Ill Bill, Septagram. Ill Bill versus DJ Muggs, Kill Devil Hills. It's a very, very good album. The Hour of Reprisal. This is a two disc set. Very good. The um, the two disc set, the, the DVD is actually really cool. It was filmed at a location that was actually going to be shut down the next day. So he wanted to do it there. He wanted that um, one of the concerts held there. Um, What's Wrong with Bill? Now this album is very good. It's a tad bit pricey too i paid 20 i think like 25 bucks for it it's not that bad but still it's a very very good album too i will say the lost children of babylon the 9-11 report the ultimate conspiracy yeah the album cover is uh <laughs> very controversial if you think that's bad just look at the back yeah and it's funny because um when I, I bought it brand new and it said their most controversial album. I wonder why. But it's very good though. I do like it. The Lost Children of Babylon. Words from the doo Book of Anubis. Very good one. They're more like spiritual, conscious kind of artists. Where the light, where light was created. Um, I want to pronounce the name, the, the word on the bottom, but... It's it's too complicated for me to pronounce, and I do not want to butcher the, the word, so I'm just going to say where light was created. Chino XL, Poison Pen. And pretty cool little thing is that it's autographed by him, so I thought that was really cool. Um, here to save you all. Apathy and OC. I think the name is, I think the word is pronounced Perestroika. I think that's how you say it. And I am so sorry if I butchered that word. But I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, Paris, Perestroika. Yeah. The Widow's, Apathy, The Widow's Son. This is his newest album. Very, very, very good. And lastly is 
Jedi Mind Tricks' newest album, The Bridge and the Abyss. Uh, when I bought the CD, it also came with a shirt, so it's actually a very comfortable shirt. Um, yeah, a very, very, very good album. I was so excited to, to get this, and when I did, I, I listened to it pretty much almost the entire day. It's a very good album. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the CDs that I have. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Have a good night. Because it's starting to get nighttime here. Most importantly, stay safe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Alright guys, take care. Bye-bye.